Let's talk about visibility. Here we have a person class where you have two member variables, first name and last name, and uh, they are accessible by using the dot notation. So I can say for any instance of the class, I can do a dot and I can access first name and I can access last name. So the dot notation lets you both read and write into member variables. This is the default behavior in TypeScript, and this kind of simulates the JavaScript behavior of having uh, every member variable be accessible outside, right? So there's no concept of a private in uh, JavaScript. But TypeScript does have a concept of private. It lets you restrict the member variables to be accessible only within a particular class, which is very handy when you want to encapsulate certain features of a class only to within the class. So by default, if you don't specify any visibility, the member variable is assumed to be of public type. So this is equivalent to saying public first name. So it's accessible outside. There are no access restrictions for the member variable. But if you want to restrict it, you can mark a member variable as private. You see here, I have a private first name and I have a private last name. So now you see here, I get a squiggly. Property first name is private and only accessible within the class person. So what I can do is use the get full name method over here. So let's say I do a return this dot first name plus this dot last name. So this works fine because I'm accessing the first name and the last name inside the class person, but I cannot access it outside the class person because this is a private member variable. I can of course do a get full name and have this method return me the values that are inside the class. So these are essentially encapsulated. I can only access them through this method. So this translates well to getters and setters. Uh, if you're familiar with some other languages, uh, you have this concept of getters and setters, which are basically functions which wrap around private member variables. So rather than have first name itself be public, you make it private and you create a getter, like so just something like this, uh, get first name, which basically just returns this done first name. So with this, you've encapsulated first name, but you're still making it accessible through a public method. Again, these are common patterns. You can do that because you have the concept of private member variables in TypeScript. The private keyword works for methods too. So you can say this is private. So in this case, both the member variable and the getter is private. So you really cannot access first name outside the class unless you go through another method like this. So I'm going to complete the picture with a set first name, which takes in name, which is a string. And uh, I'm going to say this dot first name equals first name. I should call it first name here. All right, so this is a getter and this is a setter. So this allows us to encapsulate first name. I'm gonna change this uh, to include getters and setters for the last name as well. Last name, to capitalize this. So we have getters and setters for the first name it doesn't set us for the last name. Now, first name and last name are encapsulated. All right. Now, how about constructors? Let's say you want to create a constructor which accepts first name and last name, and it creates an instance from that. So you can do something like this. Constructor. First name is a string. Last name is a string. And I say this dot first name equals first name and this dot last name equals last name. 
right? So this is possible. This is a pretty common pattern. You create member variables, which are private, and you have a constructor which takes in those arguments and it sets the corresponding value. So you have first name taken, taken from the first name argument and the last name taken from the last name argument. This is all great, but with TypeScript, there is a shortcut for doing something like this. Creating the member variable, which is private, and then using a constructor with all the values that you need and setting the value to the member variable seems like a lot of work. So what you can do instead is create a constructor which is empty. Instead of declaring private first name string and private last name string over here, and then first name string, last name string over here, what I'm gonna do is get rid of this stuff and just mark these as private. So private, first name, private last name. Now what this is gonna let TypeScript know is that you want these arguments to the constructor actually be member variables of the class. So it's doing a couple of things at the same time. It's accepting arguments to the constructor. It's telling TypeScript that the arguments correspond to member variables in the constructor and that you want it assigned to those member variables. So what happens is when TypeScript looks at this class definition, it's gonna say, okay, these two need to be member variables of person. You don't have to declare it over here like you did before. Just by having private in the constructor argument means it's gonna automatically treat these two as member variables with the corresponding type. The second thing it's gonna do is it's gonna take these values that are passed to the constructor and assign them to the member variables automatically. So you don't have to do the this dot first name equals first name, this dot last name equals last name. You can skip that entirely. This is a pretty quick uh, shortcut to doing all that stuff because like I said, it's a common pattern. You have member variables and you have a constructor which takes all those as arguments and then assigns them to the member variable. Well, if that's you do, you do that so many times, you might as well use the shortcut for it. You just put it as private over here and it's gonna be done automatically for you. If you want public member variables, remember you didn't have to do the modifier and uh, it used to work fine. But in this case, if you remove the modifier, it's gonna look like any other constructor. So how do you tell TypeScript that you want this to be assigned to a member variable? Well, you do that by using public. You can say public first name and uh, public last name. So it's again the same shortcut. So the class definition has first name and last name as two public member variables. So that's what the public and private modifiers to the arguments of the constructor will do. And the final uh, visibility modifier is protected. Uh, the way protected works is that the member variable is accessible inside the type and inside anything that extends the type, but it's not available outside. All right, so let's say I mark these two as protected. First name and last name are both protected. They are accessible inside the class person. So I can do with the start first name, getter, setters, all that stuff. They are accessible inside a class which extends person. So somewhere over here, I can do this start first name and that works fine. It's accessible over here because this is a class which extends person. So the protected member variables are accessible, but it's not accessible outside uh, the class. So let's say a programmer dot, you see that? First name doesn't show up. First name is protected, it's not accessible outside. 